things don't go your way when you want them to. And you know how people don't show up the way you want them to. And you know how that can make you so frustrated. And you get angry and you get anxious and you get pissed off and and then eventually you like you stew in it and then nothing happens and especially if you're kind of like me and you tend to sort of be a recovering serious person but I'm actually I've been some I've experienced some seriousness lately and you start to believe your story but you don't get it out of your system eventually we get depressed and it just settles into our system because there is nothing that we can do about the people around us or the situations around us that happen. But what we can do is we can respond differently to the same exact situations and still feel great. And so I'm here today to share with you a little bit about depression and laughter yoga because it's my passion. And because when I forget to laugh for no reason at all, by the way, laughter yoga, we're, we're laughing for no reason at all. When I forget to laugh, I start to believe my stories. I start to go back into serious patterns. And I am not speaking about not meeting something that's really intense and heavy with an air of honoring its serious nature. But that doesn't mean that we need to fall into a pit or an abyss of depression or you know, hopelessness because something is not turning out the way we thought it would and all of a sudden we're judging ourselves for it and feeling really badly about ourselves. So so I want to share just a few little laughter exercises with you and just get us out of our depression laughter, I mean our depression experience. And the first one I want to share with you is um, one that I love. It's called Anxiety Be Gone Laughter. And this is really good. So when we start to feel really anxious, sometimes we push it down because we just want to keep everything under control. Maybe I'll just speak for myself. Sometimes I push it down and okay, it's okay. And, and I find that I'm holding my breath. And when we hold our breath, number one, our body doesn't get the oxygen it needs to thrive. And number two, we shut down our life force and we start stuffing things into us. And pretty soon it's just automatic. And our body's like, oh, stuff it in. Oh, stuff it in. Oh, stuff it in. <laughs> and then we do it so automatically we don't even know we're doing it, but it takes away from our aliveness. So we're going to do a little anxiety be gone laughter and laughter yoga is all, always about faking laughter until we make it. It's con We get contagious and real as we play with it, but just play along with me. We're never talking. We're only ever laughing. So just, just do it with me. Here we go. <gasps> <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> very good, very good, yay! Very good, very good, yay! So I will tell you that when I share these videos with you and I share these exercises, it's because I have been through something either recently or it has been something in my life that I've worked through quite a bit. And I just want to share my tools with you because we all deserve to feel lighter and happier and more joyful in our lives. We deserve to know that life can be flowing and we don't have to like immerse ourselves into the drama and feel all terrible about ourselves and continue to perpetuate the problem instead of really focusing on all the beauty. Like look at these beautiful flowers I gave myself for Valentine's Day. Yay! And here's a picture of me when I was five and a half because I feel like we have got to take a stand for the play and the joy and and the connection that happens when we are playing. We feel better. And so we're going to do one more really fun laughter exercise, and it's a really great way to get out your frustration and anger, um, but we want to do it in a playful way. It's called the lion laughter, and it's a really great way to just counteract somebody who's just being kind of argumentative, and they're, maybe they're just trying to push your buttons on purpose, okay? So here we go. It's called the lion laughter. So we're going to stick out our, hand, our claws. We're going to make our eyes really big. It's going to bring circulation to our thyroid. We're going to stick out our tongue and we're going to laugh from the belly. Here we go. <laughs> very good. Very good. Yay. Very good. Very good. Yay. 
All right. So that's just a little bit about depression. I have so much more to share. Thank you for tuning in today on this really special Valentine's Day because love is for all of us. And it comes from a deep place within where we know how to take care of our needs and how to ask for support and how to let ourselves feel vulnerable and get our needs met. And we get to give that to ourselves and we get to receive it for ourselves. So practice giving and receiving and play, play with your problems. I look forward to playing with you soon. <laughs>